I'm an attorney. I'm a lawyer. I represent property owners from around the state, including Vermillion and Cameron Parish School Board. I'm here today because after consulting with uh, Grace Sexton, who's a longtime general counsel of the uh, Louisiana Board of Ethics, I became determined that I uh, was going to file this ethics complaint. It's a major ethics complaint against Representative Neil Abramson. Abramson is the legislative front man for big oil in attempting to take property owners' rights away. Here's the real story. Abramson was hired by Lisco and Lewis, one of the biggest firms in the state, if not the nation. The firm that represents BP, represents Amoco, represents Exxon, who has polluted our land and water all over Louisiana. A month before the session started, Lisco and Lewis hired Representative Abramson. A month before the session started, knowing that Abramson was chairman of the Civil Law Committee, when the session starts, Representative Abramson files a bill, then he files another bill and another bill. He filed multiple bills that have been heard in his committee, of which he's chairman, rammed through his committee, all to benefit Exxon, BP, all of whom are major clients of Lisco and Lewis. It stinks. Representative Neil Abramson has attempted to hijack the Louisiana legislature. And the political operative for big oil in this effort to take property owners' rights away is, state, is Senator David Vitter. He's come down at the request of Abramson and big oil, and he's stuck his nose in this. You know, our country's not working right now. And I suggest to Senator Vitter that rather than spending his time down here helping big oil, hurting all of our coastal problems that we're faced with daily, he'd go back to Washington and do his own job instead of using this to run for governor. But most importantly, this ethics complaint will be filed this afternoon through Mr. Grace Sexton's law office, and it's a serious, serious conflict of interest on Representative Abramson's part. You know, here's the thing. Why in the world do people like Representative Abramson, who is a lawyer, and Senator Vitter go around blaming lawyers for everything? I'm a lawyer. I have three sons who are lawyers. I've been doing this for 30 years, attempting to clean up the old contamination that was left in 20,000 pits in Louisiana. All of that nasty stuff has gone through the bottom of those pits and has now contaminated our drinking water. And yet, what do they do? They cry, lawyer, 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 lawyer. I didn't contaminate our drinking water in the state. Exxon did. BP did. The same companies that Representative Abramson and his firm, Lisco and Lewis, work for, collect millions and millions of dollars in fees. Why don't they just clean up the drinking water? What I'm really angry about is I've, I've watched this process work for 50 years or so. I'm 71 years old. I've seen it at its worst. I've seen it at its best. We've had great ethics reform in this state. What do we have? We've turned back 20, 30 years. Abramson comes up here having been hired by a firm, knowing that he's going to profit from it financially to, to move his own bills, to move their bills. That angers me. This is supposed to be a dignified process. Instead, he's made it stinky and messy. He should have disclosed. He didn't disclose. He should have filed an affidavit saying that he was hired a month ago by Lisco and Lewis. He didn't file an affidavit. He has a serious conflict of interest, and I intend to pursue it. I just want the process to be fair. Let all the property owners that we represent and other law firms in this state represent have a fair day in court. What Abramson and Exxon and BP want, they don't want to go to court. They don't want documents like this to ever surface in the public light. This bill they're presenting, these many bills, begs, please send us to the Department of Natural Resources so we can be protected. Don't let us, don't let us have to go to court so we'll have to give them our, our nasty looking documents and let them look at these dead cows. You know what that is? That's the Cameron Parish School Board property. It's, it's evidence, evidence of an old pit that was left. There are cows dying out there. We represent the Vermilion School Board. We've determined that the crabs and the oysters in that area are toxic. 
caused by this old oil field pollution? Why would Representative Abramson and, and Senator Vitter want to protect those people who did it? Why don't they tell them to come down and clean it up? Here's the thing. No opportunity for input with the Abramson bills. There was, there was an effort by property owners, landowners, much effort put in by those people working with the lawyers for Exxon, working in the Senate where the bills had originally been filed. There was a big study hearing last week. Instead, the day after the study hearing, Abelson sneaks his bill into House Civil Law where he's the chairman and rams it through 10 to 2. It's absurd. And he told the landowner interest that the bill would not be heard that day. There would just be an informational meeting. Instead, we were faced with a meeting that, that is going to help destroy this environment even more. I'm good. Thank you. Right. Thank you, guys.